nobody's died. You know, it's not a funeral. It's not a wake. It's the beginning of a summer long party that we're all invited to. Thanks to you guys. I used to go into a test match pretty nervous and like thinking, oh, if I don't perform this week, it might be my last. It's tense, isn't it? Now I go in thinking, oh, this is so much fun. You get to play in front of a packed house. We'll, we'll train two days before, but we'll also go play a bit of golf as a team after training yeah, I and, saw that. and doing things like that and it just makes the whole week so so enjoyable and we know once we're in the changing room even if you get out you can still have a laugh with your mate in the changing room yeah, that, yeah. that makes sense and everything about it and what what Brendan McCullum's created and what Stokes has created such a special special environment that we've got in there like like we were talking about even when we lost the game it's, we still had a, a real good laugh as a team for a couple of hours after the game and, and that probably wouldn't happen in a normal well, why you know, nobody's died you know it's not a funeral it's not a wake it's the beginning of a summer long party that we're all invited to thanks to you guys exactly and hopefully that can continue and we can put on a show for the next four games well you well. you have no choice do you really because that's what you're going to do at no point is Baz going to say well it didn't it, we tried it for the first two tests but that's it this is the way now isn't it if he's in charge what's his official title Baz is uh, head coach head coach yeah so whilst he's head coach of England this is how you're going to play absolutely yeah he even said we should go a bit harder next game <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. How might you? Well, okay. Take walk us through that. How do you go harder? You just any doubt you had in this game, you take that away, and you you just give us an example of how that might manifest on the pitch. I don't know, but the so in your head you might think, shall I do this or shall I just <laughs> shall I just you know take it a bit easy for ten minutes and, right. and not get out? And Baz would say, no, absolutely do it. Um, and you know he said to me. You know, you know, why didn't you just hit it over why didn't you hit it overfield? It's like they put man on the on the fence. It's like why didn't you just hit it over him? It's like I wouldn't I didn't even think about that. He's like sixty yards away. It's but, so uh, funny, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it sounds so simple, Ollie. Why has it been so long coming, do you think? Is it just bra- is it bravery, fearlessness or it's what? bravery and it is simple. And I think cricket is a sport like when you're playing it, man, you can overthink everything. Everything to do with the game. And then I think what Brendan's done is he's sort of narrowed it down and got us thinking of probably a bit more logically to be honest and we stay in the moment a lot better he's got a good saying where be where your feet are and he's kind of just like just immerse yourself whatever you're doing whether you're in the field whether you're batting whether you're in the changing room with your mate just immerse yourself in that moment while you're in the cricket environment and that it just ke- helps keep th- things really simple and if there's a gap in the field just hit it in the gap it's yeah. It's a ball coming down at you. It's not because there's much more grass than human. Exactly, and then it's that's just the mindset approach. Like we're, I'm not, I'm not always changing the way I play, but I'm just changing the way I think, and that sort of just helps that positive side come out in everything. 